Good evening, my dear respectable fellow citizens of the Republic of Sierra Leone. This is now our sister once again, Sister Gugi from London, the CEO and founder of the Advocates for Good Governance Sierra Leone, we are a registered organization based in Sierra Leone. The date today, now the 20th February 2021. I want to make a summary of we, the outcome of the talk show today, what we get. And the topic is, how can we uphold the Sierra Leone Peace and National Cohesion Commission Act 2020? So, the Advocates for Good Governance Sierra Leone categorically realize, say, for put acts and or laws and or policies na paper, then they particularly na good idea. But for later, it will become achievable. Sometimes it can be a milestone. If they're not particularly concentrate on them policies, then they, then laws, then they, and the acts, then they. So as a result of that, we particularly create the opportunity and the platform today for we invite them, meaningful Sierra Leoneans, them, for let them come particularly explore we podium, for let them tell us how we go able for work together as Sierra Leoneans, for let we go particularly uphold the functionality and practical aspect of this National Peace Cohesion Act 2020. Because for let an act stay theoretically, but practically, they're not put into practice, then obviously it's just completely a waste of resources in that regard. So, and as we all know, social cohesion, social cohesion, now something where they connect people together and solidarity among, among group within a community and or society. Now, two types of social cohesion now in Aden Day in existence. We get the sense of belonging to a community. You get for belong na community, that's number one. And again, we get forget the relationships among members within the community. Relationship get for day between the people away, particularly day na that community day. Then they go able for live ethically, morally, and peacefully within that aspect. So again, the outcome of the of the outcome of the talk show today is that a question arises: how we go able for strengthen the social cohesion. And the response what we get is that we are able to accept one another culturally without discrimination. We are able to forget the contact between, between us and any political party where they in any governance, for example, like the SLP itself, the president where they get for able for interact with the people them, get for able to interact with the Sierra Leoneans them. And again, we get for they in a better position for what we realize uh, it is necessary for us for what we able for facilitate social and cultural advances. We will help us for what we able for develop the nation as well. Again, a successful interaction of one another, again, it is also considered for be social and national cohesion. As I don't already stated that. So again, we the people are able to forget a freedom of speech, liberty, and as well as happiness. Now that we consider for we say we live in a peaceful country. Again, we get for them in a better position for your freedom of speech. People are for able for live within a, a free environment whereby they will get the ability for straight out things them when they go right within the country. They are for able for express their own political views, they are for able for express their opinion, and again. Therefore, able the president and or the country itself or the government for able for protect the citizens them as well. Again, we for able for be honest within ourselves and respect one another. We for able for they in a better position for identify our own problems and try for unite our country. We for they in a better position for love we go able for appreciate the fact that we need a president. We need politicians them. We get the country at heart. Again, we for able for day in a better position for respect to the Constitution, 1991 Constitution. As na in bind we together as Sierra Leoneans, them how for treat one another in this regard. I further exploit how we were able to get benefits if we live in a cohesive and peaceful country. The benefits we were able for live is that we were able for benefit economically. We go able for day in a country in a country who say by discrimination may they occur. We go able for improve on education. <coughs> Excuse me. We go able for improve culturally and we go able for day to live ethically, morally, for the interests of one another. Again, 
I further ask the question, what are the disadvantages if we not get peace and cohesion in the Republic of Sierra Leone? And it comes to the attention of the advocates for good governance Sierra Leone say, then obviously discrimination go there, political intolerance go there, we not going to be in any better position for accommodate one another, for respect one another, and for help one another. Again, I ask a question on behalf of the advocates for good governance Sierra Leone, how we go able to uphold the peace and national cohesion in the Republic of Sierra Leone. It comes to the attention, say, we Sierra Leoneans, them therefore be patriotic. We Sierra Leoneans, therefore, able to focus on things that matter. We Sierra Leoneans, therefore, they're in a better position for be for develop with country, for empower one another, instead of fighting one another or try to undermine one another. Again, I further ask the question on the factors them where they hinder peace and national cohesion. So it comes to the attention, say, incitement of st um, statements them where they incite. Particularly that the media, sometimes in you know, they be ethical, for let it for put the country, for let go get peace and national cohesion. We get for they in a better position for discourage others them where they put incitive statement. We get for they in a better position for discourage others them where they try for face some chaos in the country. We get for they in a better position for discourage others them where particularly they send out messages them we're not ethical, we're not authentic, and we're not fabricated messages them. We get for they in a better position for discourage them people and they make them not continue for do so. And we get for they also in a better position. Love we no go they for 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 put practices them when a discriminatory practice them stereotype practice them or practice them with a segregatory in the Republic of Sierra Leone. We get for come together and realize say we are all Sierra Leoneans and that country they need us desperately for love we go able for develop it. And Sierra Leone not going for progress without collective effort of the Sierra Leoneans. Them. And let me also appreciate the fact, say, we country a big part the parties them. So if you don't have any political party, you take that party, then you put them as your number one priority than the country, then obviously you don't there in a high potential for destroy your country. Because no political parties, not in the Republic of Sierra Leone, will big past the country. The time we go for realize is Sierra Leone big past all political parties them in the Republic of Sierra Leone. Then you go for oblige us for now we work for the interest of the country itself rather than working for the interest of the party or for personal interest. So once again, now this now income to the attention. This is just a summary of waiting now the outcome today of this particular talk show. Anybody who wants to get the full version of it, I will send them with the link of the talk show so that if you get megabytes, then you'll be able to watch the full version of it. And please don't forget for share. Help us for share for we able to spread the message across. Help us for share for we able to realize that country they're not able to develop itself without the collective efforts of the Sierra Leoneans. And as I say, this organization is there for work with any government of the day for make sure that we identify who said they go wrong and then give the solution, give recommendation. So where necessary, if they put that into practice, it will be able to help the country for progress. Again, as we all know, we motto for this organization is be part of the change. Be part of the change for make Sierra Leone a better place to live. Be part of the change for we take Sierra Leone at the next level. Be part of the change for let that country that becomes ethical country for live. Be part of the change for we go able for be for feel proud of we country. Be part of the change for we able for contribute effectively for that country day. Be part of the change for we go able for come together and realize say Sierra Leone itself. Right now the only place beside the bond, me and you. It no matter whether they get British passport, but um, American passport, we don't belong to them. We just get them passport, and therefore we own convenient use. But again, as the phrase goes, I quote, there is no place like home. If you convince say there is no place like home, then be part of the change, for let we take that country there to the next level. Until next time, again, I want to use this opportunity for say thank you ever so much for giving me our chance and our time. From Sister Wiggy, may God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone. And God bless the advocates for good governance, Sierra Leone.